Hello and welcome to this edition of Big Scott 35. Uh, today we're going to uh, take a look at some uh, pickups I got, some things in the mail. Everything's through the mail. Uh, only have one pickup from eBay, uh, one of my gripes with Sport Lots. Not with the company itself, but just uh, one of the dangers of uh, doing Sport Lots. And uh, let's just take a look and see what I got. And let's talk about it more when we're looking at it. We'll see what I got. Uh, and as you can notice, I got a little bit different setup today. I got one thing. I got cards in my area where I usually uh, do the opener. And I'm just trying to work on some lighting, hoping with focus and uh, glares. And uh, let's see, see how it works. So starting off, um, I got a, uh, let's see, 65, I believe. Uh, let's see here. Yep, 65 tops. Uh, working on this one. I don't want to say I finished it. I think I'm missing one or two. So, uh, nice little rookie and stars. And then, just going to have some of these, like, Al Jackson. These, these are, get a little pricey. Uh, when you, especially the high number, short prints, but, uh, I mean, just that Al Jackson, you would think, costs a little bit. Uh, this next one, I kind of touched on in the opener a little bit. Hawk Taylor. I didn't mean to look up a little bit on him. I, I just like that name. <laughs> Hawk. This one here, you know, this is a, a, a high number short print. You can see it's got... <laughs> It's been well loved. Cornered, ripped off, uh, and you know it's a uh, Tug McGraw rookie cards and Sabota, all on the same one. Uh, so it's a can be a pricey card in a very good shape. So I was kind of looking for a beater, and I got a beater. I, I don't want ripped corners. Now, I know when I go to get the Nolan Ryan, Tom Seaver, that might be the reality I live with. But the problem is, is the way this was described to me, uh, not everything has pictures. A lot of them do. Uh, they, re they request sometimes you put a picture for over $5 cards, I think. But uh, this one here, um, I think it was labeled as very good are good um, to me this is poor to say the least when you have a rip it's poor <laughs> it's no way around it uh I, I don't even i think that i get authenticated maybe with either with any of the graders but other than that uh i was a little disappointed with that one to say the least uh they get us yogi and i had to go down a little bit to what i would like but this one to me is in great shape Pretty good centering. Again, well liked. I mean, this is... I mean, these cards are old. They've been in somebody's... They've been out of packs for a long time. Galen Sisko. Now we're going to move on to uh, 66. And I got a bunch of these. And I just ordered a bunch of 67s. And that was pricey too, right? But I'm selling those sport lots and I'm just taking the money that I'm making on sport lots and flipping them to work on. This is how I'm doing these. I feel like it's a good way to do it. Um, Ron Hunt, he was a pretty good ball player. You can see surface issues on that one. But most of them are in pretty good order. I have not. That was my first one that. 
I mean, these aren't Dean's cards. I mean, these people, it's somebody with their opinion. And you can send it back. Sport lots for damage cards, things like that. Uh, sport lots are going to are going to side on a on a purchaser unless it's somebody has they track like if you're an ongoing problem person, uh, which is nice. They even have a list of do not sell <laughs> type of people. Um, so you know it was with that. This is. This one here is in beautiful shape. A little off center, but I mean, we it's a 60s card, so. Um, for the most part, I've been very, very happy. Again, love team cards. Don't matter what the team is. I've been collect, picking up the 71 set most of the time already. Uh great at PSA and I've been picking up team the team ones picked up a twins not too long ago really nice and I have uh, three three different sellers I usually go to and if I remember correctly that's not one that I got that other one from but I could be very very wrong I didn't even look it up it it was just uh, you know there's no reason to fight it for me it wasn't that big of a because it's all opinionated I mean I, I think they have a listing of what they uh, consider what you know how you you self grade now that Tug McGraw's told really bad off center and these uh, Tug McGraw's one of the ones like I'll try to find a better fill in for that but now I have a placeholder for it in my in my flagship series so this has been like I said I've been really really loving it you know this has got a crease down the middle right down the face oh wow but you know these cards were loved some kid you know in the 60s had a mate watching game of the week making his own lineups or whatever shoving them in a Shoebox. So there you have it. That's my sport lots. And not really a gripe. Just one of the things you got to be really wary of on sport lots. You can find great deals. But yeah, every once in a while. Like I said, I haven't really ran into that big of a problem with it. But it, it's there. Now I've opened up. Uh, some packs and blasters of uh, Panini Prism draft, which I think are beautiful cards. Uh, they have, they can have the college logo. They have uh, rights to the college logos. And I did, I opened up two cellos and one blaster. And in one of the blasters, I had actually two autographs in it. So, I got Dave Acker from Oklahoma. These sometimes, with all that shine, really have a problem uh, adjusting. And let's see here, uh, Hunter Barnhart. Now, if I remember correctly, HBA, there you go with his autograph, but I think he was a pretty decent draft pick. I can't remember. Uh, and I believe all, both of these were just hollow, yeah. I think all the autos at the least are going to be that. And then I got a power surge of one of the most beautiful uniforms, North Carolina. Aaron Sabato. And of course, these are all stickers. I kind of wish this one was in the hollow instead of this power surge. And I believe this one is numbered. And I'm wrong. But I don't think that's the base color for the power surge. I could be wrong on that too. But. Love that. I would have loved that in like. The hollow with the Carolina colors. But I can't. I, I feel very good. I opened up two cellos and a blaster and got three autos. 
And again, these are something I'll hang on to, just see what happens with kind of ball players. I either keep them or, you know, somebody will have a player or a team, you know, looking for them later on. Uh, let's see. Uh, for Christmas, my dad's got me two Target, uh, was it Target or Walmart? I can't, I think it was Target uh, sets. And I've told him, uh, he lives in Virginia, I'm in Iowa, and he goes early in the morning to stores. And I just said, if you see any baseball or any sports, just pick it up and I'll pay you for it. Uh, but he just hangs on to it and he's giving me a bunch for my birthday and a bunch for uh, this for Christmas. And uh, so, and I did open these because I have a third one of the same word. So I got a Lewis Robert uh, Topps Chrome. Uh, variation complete set variation so very happy with that if you're gonna get one that's not a bad one to get and I got Gavin Lux in the perfect world I got it would have got Bouchette and Luis Robert like I said I got a third one over there and who knows I might open it I didn't take any of the base cards out or I have so many of them that if I want to get graded, I don't even need to touch those. Because uh, I don't think they're numbered any different this year on those. I, th I think they have, uh, like, complete set or anything under on the names like they've done in years past. Then I did do some tops.com. Uh, like I said, uh, I won't have any uh, 2020 in this video. I'm waiting to complete... I only have a handful still out. I have a couple on the way in, so, and I'll have one that really I need to talk about. <laughs> a little confusion that I've reached out and asked some people for their insight. But first off, uh, ecstatic, they did a living set of Mike and Michael Conforto. I could have sworn they've done him before, but I guess they have not. And after the season he had, it's well-deserved. And, I mean, I'm a little upset because, to me, it's a little off-center left to right. More than a little off-center. Um, I would love to get this graded, but I don't know if that is even worth sending in. I think it's just going to be a waste. Because now with the prices and the weight, with modern cards, if it's not a 9, which I don't think that one would get a 9 because it's so badly off center. Uh, this is uh, Milestones. Um, I want to say what year. It's a football year where they did uh, Milestones. 88 football. 1,000-yard club design. I knew it was that. I couldn't remember what year it was. I almost said early 80s, and I would have been way off. So this is 3,000 hits. 3,000 hits clubs. Roberto Clemente. Who I love, Ichiro. Willie Mays. Now when Ichiro goes in the Hall of Fame, will they uh, even have a thing about his, all of the stats from Japan? The Japanese League as like just a side thing. 500 home run club for Hink. Who I really love his story. Man, if you ever get a chance to uh, read or listen to any interviews of him, what he had to go through when he was breaking a record, it's heartbreaking and also uh, uplifting all at the same time that it didn't break him. And what he had to go through uh, was pretty amazing. I mean, if you ever watch the video when he hits it and the guy runs up to him between second and third, and you see the startle on him when he eat because he thought he thought that was going to be bad intentions there. And uh, yeah, that was what he had to go through. It wasn't right for any human being for him to do it in spite of that. I know it's just sports, but, you know, I, I get in chills just thinking about it. And such a great man to have to deal with that just because he's hitting home runs. A black man in America seceding. It's pretty sad. 300 uh, win club with uh, Randy Johnson. The unit. 
my grandma used to crack up every time he pitched and they would say the big unit she was uh, a very religious woman but she was the dirtiest religious woman I've ever met in my life she would crack up me and my friends all the time and then Tom Seaver R.I.P. White Sox. Wish that was in. I'm sure he got it with the White Sox. It would have been nice if that was Mets. And then, of course, uh, we're going to have some Star Wars Chopper. Iconic uh, Star Wars Rebels. If you've been watching Mandalorian, I cannot. And you like it. I would uh, really advise you to watch The Clone Wars and then watch Rebels. And a lot of stuff that's in both of those are in The Mandalorian. And people, they're cartoons, but as an adult, you will love them. Uh, Tori, Toro Calicon from The Mandalorian. And I was just re-watching a Rebels with Chopper. And I uh, didn't realize he was in the Clone Wars. And him and another, he was talking with another robot. Talking about how, yeah, how he was in the Clone Wars. And this is General Leah Ogana, uh, Ogana in uh, The Last Jedi. So this would be in the, uh, the last three movies. Queen Bria uh, Grana in Revenge of the Sith. Sith? She would die when Alderaan gets blown up. Then they made the Mandalorian in some tops now. I gotta go back try to find these. These are not, these cards are not easy to find on, uh, on eBay or anywhere other sales groups uh, I think people that buy them are collectors and they're not really reselling that's a pretty good uh, picture there of them too if you watch the last Mandalorian I won't ruin it but I'll tell you now it told somebody had to tell me uh, make sure you watch all the credits go through the end and I don't want to give anything away <coughs> Because it don't matter how soon it is, you might have forgot or not known to watch it all the way through. Boba Fett takes out stormtroopers. Everybody loves the child, so this is when he gets taken by the uh, those new robotic troopers, dark troopers, which I did not like them. It kind of takes, I don't know, some of the human aspect of it. And then... The, I guess this he's going to be the bad guy in um, what is it the new uh, video game coming out this year the sixth one uh, Far Cry six. Moff Gideon confronts the child. Now Moff Gideon, the the actor that plays Moff Gideon. So. And then uh, I said I got one card off of eBay. I did buy a set of Star Wars on eBay. It was an eBay exclusive. Uh, I guess Tops does eBay exclusives. I didn't know that till I was watching. I watch a lot of pod. I watch. A, I know that sounds ridiculous. I watch a lot of podcasts on YouTube when they show them on YouTube, and uh, they were talking about this, so I got it. Um, and these are kind of art illustrations. Of Star Wars, not necessarily Mandalorian, I don't think. Cara Dune. Yeah, so you got... Well, this, I guess it might... Uh, it is Mandalorian, I forgot. So this is... Uh, Grief Cargan. Right before he fights Rocky. <laughs> IG-11. I wish he would uh, last it. I'm not, I, I guess I'm not taking, if you haven't watched it yet, I'm sorry, but uh, this this right here, I'm going to probably be sitting in and get graded. I really like this this uh, Stormtrooper. 
I've said it before, I collect Stormtroopers. I'm fascinated with Stormtroopers and Darth Vader. I couldn't... I The the whole Empire, Boba Fett, all of them, I really dig them. And I like the good guys that are not necessarily have to be good to be good. Like Cara Dune. I, I really like her. She, she beats up people and don't even apologize for it. Kind of like the Mandalorian. He... he he does what's right, but he does it in his own way. He might have to blow up a town, but it's going to happen. Jawas. Another guy that died in the first season. Kind of sad. Mando. Which we know what he looks like now. And his name. and He's broke a lot of his rules. And I just found out the other day, because um, this character that plays her was in another show, and I looked it up, and she played the armor. And I was like, what character was her in Mandalorian? And she was the armor. I would have never guessed it. How would you come up to a, you as a pretty good actress or actor and go, we need you to play in a Man uh, Mandalorian, but you'll never, nobody will ever see you. <laughs> Oh, God. I guess it gets paid the same. Sorry if I'm going all along. I just looked so long. And this is, I think this one will be a one that get, goes in to get graded. I like this picture. I mean, Lori, I would love to have this in poster form. I like this picture altogether. Really cool. Really cool. And then my one loan sports card that I got off of eBay since my last pickups. Uh, just got this in yesterday. I got it Christmas week, I think. So I knew it was going to take a little while uh, to get here. And uh, I've been being very patient. I keep telling y'all I only spend an X amount on young players, unproven players, players you don't know what their future holds so this is the 2019 sapphire and i haven't really scrutinized this but i can tell you what i know what it was going for and i know what people are still trying to get for raw copies of this on ebay for five hundred dollars and i didn't pay not nowhere close to that um I was just being patient, and a uh, gentleman, it happened. Guy kept dropping and dropping, sent out everybody was watching, had a, a offer. I countered it right then. He countered back, and uh, to what exactly uh, I would, I, my top end of where I was going to you know, be happy with getting, and uh, I got it. Now, I probably would never get any of the color variants of the Sapphire or the Auto, way out of my price range um for what i'm willing to spend on a, this type of player and uh so this will be my hey i got a sapphire of the rookie card so and that's good enough with me now and i'm saying i won't get one if it, i find one later in my price range what i'm willing to pay for it um but there you have it so I, I really wish this would have been in the blue, too. I love the blue sapphire. Um, this just looks like the Atomics. Um, you know, I, I, I was really disappointed in last year's. Uh, well, I guess 2019 now. Um, I'm glad he went back in 2021 to the blue. So, With that being said, uh, let me know what you're looking for. And this was my first actual card of the new year. I purchased it last year, but I got it this year. Um, so I'll say, hey, this is my first card of 2021. Very happy to get it. Very happy to add it to my rookie card collection. And it's going to be going at probably seeing JT here in the next week or so to get graded. Uh, working on a PSA. It's getting harder and harder to get cards for that now from a 2019 Pete Alonzo tops uh, graded uh, as rookie cards. So. 
Uh, let me know what, what cards you've got. Anything that's on your radar this year. I mean, I, I'm pretty much working on the same things. Uh, so, you know, I got a bunch of Gary Carters I have to get graded. I'm going to probably start hunting for them a little bit more already graded. And uh, so leave a like, share, and I hope you ever play a drinking game that I say so. Because if you do, you're going to get hammered. Uh, leave a like, share comment until next time see ya